Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to use a brilliant tool called Elementor, a popular page builder for WordPress, to create a custom product page. Whether you are a seasoned website owner or just starting out, don't worry, we'll walk through each step together, making it as easy as pie. Let's start. So now the first thing that we are going to do is head on over to our WordPress dashboard. Once you are on your WordPress dashboard, click on plugins on the left side of your screen and then you are going to click on add new from here you're going to go into your search section on the right side of your screen and search for elementor once you have searched for elementor you will see the first plugin which is elementor website builder by elementor.com and you're just going to install that plugin now once it has installed go into installed plugins in the plugin section of your dashboard then you will simply click on activate once you have clicked on activate your plugin will be live so once you have your plugin activated you can simply click on elementor on the left side of your navigation panel and this will take you to the elementor section from here you can begin customizing or building your website using elementor now we are here to make a custom product page so for that, you can even click on templates over here. Once you click on templates, you have multiple different templates that you can get started with. You can click on categories and take a look at the different categories that are available. You can add different templates over here. And then you can see you have multiple different theme builders as well that you can use from Elementor if you choose to do so. Now, if you just want to build a simple website custom product page, you can also simply do that with Elementor. So we are gonna go on ahead and open up our website and begin customizing using Elementor. We are going to click on new on the top of our WordPress dashboard. And from here, you're just going to click on page. So once you click on add new page, it will show you add it with Elementor. You're going to select that and once you do that, the Elementor website editor will show up. So once you have done that, what we are going to do is, we are going to customize this page. The first thing you are going to do is click on settings and then you are going to title your page. Let's say this is an all products page. And once I have done that, I am going to go on ahead and go back into the editor and make sure that everything is saved as it should be. I am going to go into my settings and go back into my basic section and then I am just going to start adding sections into this. Let's say I have a heading section. Now below that I can add all of my products. Let's say I just add an image over here of a singular product and I can upload files over here. I am just going to take a simple product image like this one and I am just going to click on insert media. So let's say I just added one product to my all product section. Now what I actually want to do is I want to build a specific product page. That is the one that I am focusing on. You can see I have this product image but I want to build a specific product image for this product. So how do I go ahead and do that? Well for that all I need to do is I am just going to go back into my WordPress section. And I'm going to click on new and I'm going to click on page. You can later on go into your pages section over here and from here. You can begin quick editing and customizing how they are formulated. But I am just going to click on add new and I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. Now from here I'm going to begin customizing my product page. The first thing that I wanted to do is I'm going to enter the title of our page. So this is our product name and once I have added that, I'm just going to click on add it and you can add it the overall size of the heading as well. I'm going to make it a large heading and then I'm going to click on the style. I'm going to change the style to black and then after that, you also have the typography. So the kind of font that you want, I want a simple font and you also have advanced settings. Let's say I want to margin it slightly to the right side of my screen. Like so, I'm just going to place it 
right over here. Then you can also add padding, which is another way of alignment of your WordPress website. Then you also have motion effects you can add. I don't really need that. And then you also have borders, you have backgrounds, you have responsive and other things as well. So once I have done that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back into my element section and I'm going to add images. Now another great thing that you can do is, you can add a specific layout to make sure that everything looks cohesive. If you are not sure on how to space things out or if you are not exactly sure how to make sure everything is aligned correctly, so for that I am just going to add an image box. And once I have my image box, I am going to upload the image. I am going to click on choose image and I am going to upload an image of the product. Once I clicked on upload, I am going to click on insert media. You can also choose the image size how you want the image size to be portrayed. So whether it should be a thumbnail, it should be a large image size, or it should be full or custom. You can choose that however you want. This is a rather tiny image. So that is why the sizing is not going to be very large. But what I am going to do is, I am actually going to move this column to the side because I want it to be slightly on the horizontal side. Now once I have done that, you can add your product descriptions over here. You can add more information about the product as well. So now I have just added the sample product and below that you can add more sections such as your basic sections where you can display related icons, related images or related items or more images of the same product. So let's say I want to add more images of this product. Then I could add an image carousel now this is the product and I want my customers to be able to review it. So from here, I am going to drag and drop a star rating that people can read from. And below that, let's say that I want to also make sure that I have my social media icons. You can add those and then you also have your WooCommerce integration. All of those are available over here, which you can integrate onto your page for your specific product. Now this will only enable you to customize each product page and this will give you a lot more hold over these sections present within a product. So not only can you add simple sections, but you can also add multiple different tabs. Let's say you have a product with variability. So let's say you have a product that has two different volumes. So let's say you sell a hair oil. So if you are doing that and you have one version which sells 100 ml and the other is 200 ml, then you can create this simple tab section to enter more information about that. And then if you scroll down over here, you also have a menu anchor that you can add where people can go into specific or related pages or even go into a different section of your website. And there you have it. That's how you can create a custom product page using Elementor on your WordPress website. It's a great way to add personality to your site, showcase your products in a unique way, and provide all the necessary details that your customers need to make a purchase decision. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this one. Got questions? Feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you with an answer. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll dive deeper into the world of WordPress and Elementor. Until then, keep creating amazing things and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.